This is Beth from Style at a Certain Age. And many of you know that today is the day that you've been waiting for. The winner of the $250 gift card is going to be announced. But yes, I'm just like those annoying TV stations that way back in the day made you watch the entire uh, episode until the winner is announced. So yes, you have to wait until the very, very end, but I promise it's, it's pretty exciting. So, so stay tuned. Uh, today, uh, over on the blog, I'm talking about a wardrobe detox. And what that is really is I do this twice a year. It's a very therapeutic session where I go through my closet and I see what fits and what doesn't and I'm sort of like preparing it for the next season. I know we're still in the dog days of summer, but ladies, it's all right. It's going to be August uh, in just in what, two days. I cannot even believe where the summer is gone, but fall is coming and it's, it's coming very, very quickly. So twice a year, as I said, so twice a year, usually in January and again in August, I do this closet cleanse. And if you're interested, I have three steps to the uh, wardrobe detox and that's over on the blog. So today, since fall is kind of on our, it's, a, it's on our radar screen, especially with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, uh, I am talking about transition pieces and a, a transition piece that I use that helps me ease into fall. And one of them is the humble, or mighty denim jacket. And this is actually one of the hardest working items in my closet. It's a classic. Uh, and I'm going to show you three different ways that you can wear this today here on YouTube. So, uh, stay tuned for three different outfits. And the first is, and you'll see this, but uh, I'm wearing a really cute uh, shirt dress, which is also a, a wardrobe uh, staple. But three ways, then at the very end, the winner of the $250 gift card. My way of saying thank you for tuning in and sending all the love my way. Okay, first outfit for the Mighty Denim Jacket. And you'll also notice I love to personalize them with a pin. I love pins and they're not always easily transitioned to other items in your closet. Uh, but this is a perfect weight for a pin. So you'll typically see me have different ones um, out there. This is actually a gecko. We lived on an island for many years. So this is representative of that. We picked this up in, um, where did we pick this up, sweetie, in Hawaii. And I think uh, it was called Helene, Helene, well, it was in Hawaii like 15 years ago. It was in the Pink Palace uh, Hotel. But, so I have the uh, denim jacket and it's over a shirt dress. This is a classic item as well in my closet. This is Eileen Fisher, about 2015 silk. It's olive, which is a great transition piece into fall as well, as um, color-wise. So I just pop the denim jacket over. It's a little bit chilly out. And you see how cute it looks. And I also, um, you'll notice I have these. I, I picked these up. These are Target. I picked these up at the beginning of the year. This is the block heel that's so on trend. This is the cork block heel. And if ever I'm wondering about a trend, I always head over to a store like Target, who is very on trend, but they're not. They don't have the prices that are going to. Uh, if I really don't like the trend, they're gonna sink me in the end. So, uh, denim jacket, shirt dress, on trend block heels. I am ready to zip into fall. Okay, here is outfit number two. So uh, the uh, blue jean jacket is paired with another classic, which is a striped tee. So I have a striped tee and then these cute pixie pants. These are from Old Navy. I picked these up last year. I picked up a white pair and then the olive pair. I think the olive pair, again, just like the shirt dress, it's a beautiful transition color to take you into fall. And this is a, actually a really, really nice weight as well, which I really like. They still sell these. Uh, one of the things you'll see, my, the people that follow me on my blog, the best thing and the worst thing about my blog and YouTube channel is I wear things from 20 years ago, if they still fit, uh, from 20 years ago as well as new items. Because to keep a classic wardrobe fresh and modern, you're always looking at those trends that are coming in and then you're pairing it with your classic items. But today it's, it's very straightforward. I have ballet flats again. A very classic item uh, and I have many in my wardrobe. These are Zara about 2014 denim cap toe which is all very traditional and this is a perfect outfit for a little chillier summer day uh, if you live in Minnesota like we did for years or uh, here in Georgia I'm probably gonna have to wait until September. 
but this is what it looks like. And I have a really cute, fun tote. This is, a, this is new this year. Uh, I love the basket weave texture. Totes are always great to have and work with so many outfits. The third and final outfit uh, that I'm wearing with the Mighty Denim Jacket is a classic pair of Bermudas. I love shorts. It's very, very preppy. I think maybe that's why I started off life as a very preppy dresser, and Bermudas were always in my repertoire, and I still, I probably will wear shorts until I die. Uh, it can be a little controversial <laughs> over on the blog as far as uh, how exactly short you should go. Uh, but these are a very safe bet. Bermudas, pinstriped, they're linen, Banana Republic this year. And I just love to pop a, uh, a classic button down. This is a silk button down with Bermudas. And then for those chillier days, easing into fall, then you just pop the denim blazer over and you've got a really great versatile outfit for the weekends, maybe date night. Mr. Star, are you ready for date night? <laughs> we're, we're headed down to Atlanta tonight, so we are going to have a little date night. Uh, but uh, sling back shoes, I think that's always very, very important. Don't ever forget the power of shoes. And sling backs just get, really elevate this outfit, even though they're, they're still flat, they're pointy-toed. But uh, very fun texture with the animal print. So, I know you all stuck around to wait uh, for the winner of the $250 gift card. Again, it's my way of saying thank you for tuning in day after day over on the blog and here on YouTube and sending all the love. I so appreciate it. Uh, so, Mildred Antenor, and I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing your, your last name correctly, but Mildred, you are the winner of a $250 gift card, so please uh, email me. So, it's style at a certain age at gmail.com. So email me your contact infos, and I'll either get this zipped off in Federal Express or an e-card to you today. So congratulations. I hope you enjoy. Please share what you find at the Nordstrom sale. And ladies, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next week here on Style of a Certain Age. Have a good one.